It took us approximately 10 minutes by minibus to get to the village of Agricola, some three miles outside of the capital of Georgetown in Guyana, as we made our way to visit Alfred Rogers, a man who unfortunately lost his sight to glaucoma. Along with adjustment to blindness specialist Nicole Ford from Eye Care Guyana, we were scheduled to meet him by the small business he operates in the area. He made his way towards us as he headed to work. Losing one's sight is always tragic, but for Alfred Rogers, he has his own theory as to what led to the rapid loss of vision. Always working, the morning session, everything was good, right? But when we get lunch and thing, and I lie down and get up, find my eyes out, I get dizzy. And from then on, they send me home. And from then on, I forget myself back from there. But when I got to the doctor, he told me the glaucoma. Right, and they start treating me from then on. But what I really feel caused the blindness is that I'm supposed to be using a drops in my eye, right? And most of the times when I go to the hospital for the drops, they never used to get the drops. They prescribe a treatment for buy these drops outside, right? And at that time, I really didn't have no money besides I could have buy these things. So I used to be missing the drops. And by missing the drops, eventually I get blind, right? So even before I get totally blind, I just start preparing for blindness. You understand? I just start living, changing my entire style towards life because I realize, well, sooner or later I'm going to get blind. So I just start adjusting myself, right? So when I get blind, it didn't really strange to me because I expect it, I don't find it hard. But maybe if I was on my own, right? I might really take a time more. You see, I just get assistance from people around me and things. So I don't really feel sometimes I just even forget that I'm blind. How I just operate. And then I try to do everything for myself, like wash. I come home bed, wash my own clothes. In spite of his tragedy, he takes everything in stride. Well, as long as you accept your sickness, it means that you were able to live with it. You told me that you prepared yourself for the day that you would lose your sight. How did you do that? Well, what did I start doing, right? When I, when I, after the doctor told me that I was going to get blind, right? It means my whole mindset started to change because I realized now, if I, I start thinking, could, you, could I live with this situation if I get blind? Right? And then the harder times I used to actually like blindfolding myself. You understand? In the house, I started moving in a blind state to see how I would feel. Right? And I used to feel comfortable. So I tell myself that if a day come I should totally blind, it means that I would even feel frustrated. Right? I really am living around nobody who really responsible for me, really, right? I responsible for myself. And matter of fact, the people who are living around, the I difficult really part of this blindness is like them. moving around by myself on the streets, right? Because I never really had training for them. So Nicole volunteered to pick up the part. The tree can carry me out with the cane and try to, you know, assist me and show me the rules and walking by yourself, how you could, you know, maneuver, right? And. And they start getting accustomed to the kind of um, training, right? With the continued help of Nicole and I Care Guyana, Alfred will continue to overcome the obstacles and to keep his focus on the brighter side of his life. ...to cope with. What are some of the challenges that you face now, if any? Something that would be real challenging to me, as I tell you, right? if any changes should take place, right? Is that the little help that I get from these children, even though they don't 100% willing, right? If they move away completely from me, and I got a left on my own, right? Right? You find like getting on the road or to the shop and things to be really challenging to me because I ain't got the kind of, you know, training yet that I could move in certain areas by myself. I might move around in this neighborhood by myself. But if I have to move out and go in another neighborhood, I've got to get accustomed to the neighborhood. You understand? Trust yourself. you got to understand that you're not seen anymore, and you got to change over your whole life from sight to blind, because you realize now you've got to live in darkness. So you got to get accustomed to the kind of 
The blindness thing, you gotta accept. The first thing you gotta accept is sickness. And if you accept the sickness, it means you will be able to live with it. But if you don't accept it, it means it would be hard to live with it. They might feel, if you get so prostrate, they might even feel like ending your own life. But as long as you accept the sickness, it means that you will be able to live with it. Life still got to go on. And all you have to do is to accept the sickness and live with it.